I also have mail from Kenyatta. What? Dear Zozo, I thought we were cool. How could you betray me like this? Seriously, this dress helped gel design. You helped gel design as an utter disaster. I look classy. How could you? I thought it was edgy. Rescue me from my misery. Today just seems to drag on and on. How do you stand? You didn't like the piranha teeth? Piranha teeth? What piranha teeth? On Jell's dress. I don't know what dress he saw, but there were definitely no piranha teeth on the version he showed me. I suggest you talk to your boy and get this sorted out. Expect me to come by later to check that you took care of this. There's no way I'm going to the ball in that monstrosity. Oh my, we always eat such stuff. Oh, uh, uh, uh. <gasps> Professional slacker. Hope you don't get murdered. What does Jell have to say? Hmm. What inspires you? Why, hello there, Zo. You seem to be in a rush of sorts. Is something the matter? You changed the ball gown design? I shrunk under the pressure. I just kept imagining what my mother would say after she spoke to Eshe. Sadly now, Hinata refuses to wear the dress. She told me she's going to wear something off the rack instead. Oh, I'm going to be ruined. No one who's anyone will ever hire me again after they hear of this mortifying scandal. I better go to Bahari and turn to my needle and thread right now. Oh, what should I do with my life? No one will talk to me after I've abandoned my path. I suppose I shall have no choice but to become a vagabond, wandering from village to village in search of a hot meal. It's okay, I'll help you. Really? You would do that for me? I'm simply too lucky to have you in my life, so... If you could talk to Kenyatta and convince her to wear the dress, I'd be forever in your debt. Four. I'll be dreaming about our next chat. If it isn't one of my favorite humans. I find aquatic animals to be such a source of inspiration. Di their diaphanous colors, both under and above the water, is something I have longed to capture in fabric. I've gotten close and do some impressive stains with layered silks and satins. But as far as for fish, I enjoy eating. It has to be the plain old oily anchovy. It may not be much to look at, but it certainly tastes wonderful, especially with tomatoes on afternoon toast. Try not to be a stranger. I kind of agree. Hello, Kenyatta. Have you read Crime Time? It's there so you are. Boring. I was getting tired of waiting around for you to get back. So did you talk to Jell about my dress yet? You better have. Um, calm down. Calm down? How do you expect me to do that when I just said so? Ugh, whatever. I'm not justifying myself to you. Anything I can do to convince you to wear Jell's dress? Nope, nothing. Unless you can guess what I want you to do, then I might consider it. I could put a stink bug in your mom's desk. How do you know that's exactly what I had in mind? That is just spooky. Anyway, my mom had er, had a really important meeting coming up with my aunt, the Duchess. Yeah. If you find a stink bug and hide it in her office before the meeting, I might consider wearing the dress. You know, just to help gel out. You were the highlight of my crappy day. Hmm? Ashe's desk. Done. And there's Kenyatta. Entertain me. Are you just going to stand there staring at me or did you have to say something to say? So I did it. Oh. Excellent. Now we just have to sit and wait. You'll need you wear Jess's dress? Not so fast. I said I might consider wearing it. I guess I'll have to keep the two of you in suspense. You're leaving already. Jell. Dear Zo, I don't know how you did it, but Kenyatta agreed to wear the dress. To thank you, I present you with a sketch of the original version of the design. Hold on to it. I expect it to be a true collector's item after I join the family line. Yay. 